I'm Tyler Bronski. I'm with Danny Barawa of the Bridgeport Bluefish, former Major League pitcher. Now, Danny, you begin your professional career with the New York Yankees organization, one of the most famous organizations, not even just in baseball, but in sports in general. And you're a New York guy as well. What was the reaction from your friends and family when they found out you're getting drafted by the Yankees? I'm sure there's like an outpour of people trying to reach out to you. Um, yeah, absolutely. I grew up a big Yankee fan from the time I was uh, seven years old. I had uh, basically my whole bedroom was Yankee posters, <laughs> uh, Yankee wallpaper, literally Yankee everything yeah. from when I was a kid. And if you uh, look in all my my third my third grade yearbook, they said, "What are you going to be when you're older?" and uh, I said, I'm going to be a pitcher for the New York Yankees, and uh, definitely definitely pretty crazy, and I'm definitely a really lucky guy that it just happened to come true. Yeah, definitely awesome story right there. Now, like you said, you worked your way up the Yankees minor league system and reached the major leagues with them, which we'll get to, but uh, who would you say are some people in the Yankees organization, maybe coaches or players that you really learned the most from uh, from your time over there? Um, when I was younger, in the lower level of the, minor, uh, of the minors, um, yeah. Carlos Chantres was the first uh, Yankees guy who really got through to me. And then the former double-A coach, current triple-A coach, Tommy Phelps, is one of the best pitching coaches I've ever seen. And then when I was right on the cusp of the majors and then just kind of having uh, a little trouble figuring out the last couple of things that were going to get me there, the pitching coordinator, Gil Patterson, was uh, like another guy I really, really connected with who, who just got me and uh, really helped me get there. Yeah, definitely. Now, you reached the major leagues with the Yankees in 2015. Uh, major, major League debuted against the Tigers. A little bit of a rough debut for you, I know, but um, what do you remember from that game specifically and just soaking in kind of like what the intensity level that being in the Major League was like? I'm sure you kind of had like a little bit of an adrenaline rush. Um, I, I actually kind of feel a little bit ripped off about that because everyone said that the, uh, the part when it all becomes real was when you see just how bright the lights are, and mine was a day game, so, so it actually kind of felt exactly like a, like a spring training game. So, the uh, I never I didn't get that feeling to my second game with the Braves. But other than that, um, when I got there, uh, they have the Yankees bullpen has a room they hang out in, but they said everyone said make sure you spend the first inning outside, soaking it all in, and then I just uh, I. I must have spun around in a hundred circles, just taking everything in, every every detail of the stadium, every every fan in the crowd, every noise. It was, it was all unbelievable that a that a silly kids game could could take you so far and uh, give you so many awesome things in life. Yeah, definitely awesome. Now the Yankees, they kind of seem like they have their own like philosophy when they do things. They do things a little bit differently. They, I feel like they really focus on professionalism in that organization. I mean. They don't even let you guys have uh, facial hair over there. So, like, what are some of the things maybe the Yankees instilled in you that you take with you as a player uh, to this day? Um, for for sure, professionalism, um, doing doing things the right way, doing things the respectful way, um, having fun. But professional baseball is a job, and at, just like any other job on earth, your job is to come and not only help your coworkers, but help yourself become better at your craft so they definitely instilled that in me too yeah most definitely now you're traded to Atlanta Braves later that season and you got to spend the whole month of September with them in the big leagues what was that experience like with the Braves kind of your thoughts on the organization there and do you think the more time you're in the big leagues the more comfortable you got over there um I wouldn't I wouldn't say I was there long enough to talk anything about being comfortable there because uh uh even with spending, you know, a, a good amount of time and doing the road trips and experiencing uh, the major league lifestyle, as a rookie, you're never really comfortable. Um, but um, like being able to do it for an extended period of time was definitely something special. And uh, just how just how lucky you are when you're in the big leagues, not just to compete against the best, but the, the just the the way you're treated and the the places you go and the things you have access to, or it's just incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Now, last year you played for the Long Island Ducks in the Atlantic League, the Bluefish rival, just to throw that out there. But uh, you guys made it to the championship series last year with the Ducks. And that's kind of like pretty much home for you over there in Long Island. So what was that like to be able to play home again? Did any of your friends and family get to see you pitch over there in Long Island last year? Yeah, I like, I like to tease the guys here that I'm the only current Ferry Cup champion. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping to become a two-time Ferry Cup champion, so uh, that, that'd be nice. But, yeah, it was... Um, it was definitely awesome. I live on the North Shore. The Ducks are kind of on the South Shore, but okay. there's uh, there's no substitution for uh, 
going to the ballpark and uh, they, have, they have a good really good thing going there with the fans and the stadium and the atmosphere and uh, there's nothing better than a, a nice 20 minute drive home but now it's an hour ferry ride home but I'm still very lucky to be so close to my uh, my family yeah, definitely now this past March you kind of had a really unique opportunity playing for Team Israel in the World Baseball Classic I mean you guys played in Seoul Korea and Tokyo Japan have you been able to reflect on that experience yet and just like what that meant to you to be part of such a confident and resilient team like Team Israel? Um, I've definitely spent a lot of time reflecting it, on it and uh, I, I would honestly put it neck and neck with making it to the major leagues. The, the major leagues is always going to be something special because it was a, a five-year journey to get here and this was just kind of a select team but uh, I don't think there's a I, I honestly would say I'm just a happier person and better teammate in general because I wake up and I go Wow, I got to go to Japan to compete internationally with one of the best group of guys I've ever been a part of. And not only that, but we were pretty good and much better than people gave us a lot of credit for. And that role we were on and uh, sweeping the first round and making it to the second round and beating some teams that were, that were supposed to, supposed to, you know, we weren't supposed to be able to be on the same field as them. And then we beat them. That was uh, just, just an amazing feeling to travel across oceans because of the, the game I love and being a part of that being a part of that's it, yeah. it, it's just uh just like such a such a special thing that it's not lost on me at all yeah, absolutely now I asked Blake Galen this question um He's a funny guy. he is a funny guy Hilarious. a lot of guys in the Atlantic League this year have experience in the World Baseball Classic this year and some guys from Team Israel as well now I know the Atlantic League's known for its talent but are you a little surprised more guys from the Classic are in the Atlantic League this year, especially with all the exposure the Classic gives? Um, I am and I am not. Especially with that Team Israel guy, it makes perfect sense that Team Israel guys would be here in the Atlantic League because what what Team Israel was, was a bunch of outside of Jason Marquet and Sam Fold, we were a bunch of triple-A or better guys who never really stuck, never really got a chance, and we're, we're kind of the guys that are uh, all on the cusp, and uh, who's to say what the, the talent difference is between us and guys who get to be in the big leagues every day and aren't up-and-down guys and guys who have solidified. I don't think it's that much, and that's the way the guys on the team felt, too. I think uh, every guy on that team had a reason to have a chip on their shoulder, and I think we played like it. Yeah, definitely. Final question for you. Like I mentioned, you're with the Bluefish now. Um, what is that like for you to be on the other side? Like you mentioned, the fit, you're a fair, you want to become a Fairy Cup champion twice. So what's that like to be on this side of the rivalry now? And being in the championship series last year, do you think the Bluefish can have have that potential to reach the championship series uh, this year as well? Um, I mean, I do. We're, we're, we're playing good baseball. I wasn't sure what to expect when I, when I signed here, other than that it was close to home. But this is another, uh, I just feel so lucky that, I go from Tiz, Team Israel, which was a group of guys that, within two days, we were best friends. It was, it was, yeah. it's crazy. We, you know, we still have a group chat. We talk in every day. You know, that's a, that's a team that came together in two days and played for two weeks, and we have a lot of lifelong memories. And then I come to this team, and it's, it's, it's the same thing. It's we're right away. We're all pulling for each other. We're, we're tight. We all get along, and the, the chemistry is unreal. And uh, we're playing pretty good baseball too. So uh, I, I like our chances with anything. Awesome. Thank you, Danny. All the best to you this season. Appreciate.